In this video, Sky and I uh, are going to share with you how to prepare <laughs> hash coat or hash coated braid uh, before hand stripping. And if you are a dog groomer and you are planning to compete this year, this is what you need to do before competition. So stay with me and enjoy. Hi, I'm Itka, I'm the founder of Vita Canis and happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. Here at Vita Canis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel. So first of all, I'm going to bath uh, Sky in uh, shampoo, uh, special shampoo for, suitable for harsh coated breeds. Uh, I'm using Chris Christensen uh, Spectrum One shampoo, which is a, a special shampoo for coarse and rough coat. And then I'm using the conditioner, Spectrum One conditioner, and I'm going to use it on her furnishing. That means on her leg hair and on her beard. Um, also, I'm using the Aqua Soap towel. Uh, Spectrum One shampoo and conditioner need to be diluted one to eight. Uh, I'm using a hydro bath, so I already diluted the shampoo in the wash tank, and the conditioner is diluted in the bottle here. And as I said, I'll use it after a rinse. I'll use it on her leg hair and on her whiskers. So uh, Sky is now nice and clean, washed, dried with aqua soap towel and a towel. And now I'm going to try the high velocity dry on her. I don't know uh, how she's going to react. So I have handy uh, the snoot and uh, also the calming floral spray. So I'm just going to spray her to help her to cope with the with the high velocity dryer. When we dry in a harsh coat, the coat we're going to hand strip, it is very important to keep the coat flat. So it means uh, we're going to dry, place the nozzle on the coat, good girl, on the body like this, and blow with direction of coat, just on one speed. And it's very important to hold the nozzle close to the skin, close to the body. <laughs> Good girl. And always, always go with the direction of cold. We don't want to blaster all over because otherwise the coat will lift and our hand stripping finish will be very fluffy and really we don't want that. So shall we have a go? So uh, here is another step, um, we, I'm going to finish uh, drying the sky with a stand dryer and hand dryer. Again, I'm going to um, dry flat to make sure the coat will stay <laughs> good girl, nice and flat, close to the body. This will ensure our finish when we hand strip, um, the finished coat will be nice and flat, close to the body. Uh, when it comes to furnishing like uh, the, the leg hair and the whiskers, they can be fluffed up. Uh, so um, we will use uh, a, a pin brush or soft slicker brush to lift the hair and fluff it up. And I'm using the bristle brush to keep the coat nice 
and flat during the drying. So now sky is nice and clean and dry and I'm going to carry on with the preparation which will include uh, ear cleaning, um, I'm going to check and trim her nails, check between the parts and if needed I'm going to clip it, I will also check between the toes if there are any knots and I will check and uh, clip her sanitary area. So now I'm going to check and clean Skye's ears. Uh, her ears are not really hairy, she doesn't require uh, ear plucking. So I'm just going to use uh, our ear cleaner and a cotton wool. So I just put a few drops of the ear cleaner on a cotton pad or cotton wool. You want to check? Good girl. <laughs> and then gently wipe the outside of the inner ear. She doesn't have any discharge, any redness, just like a little bit of dirt. And we can use another cotton wool. Good girl. Don't go too deep, just clean the area you can see. Good girl. And the same with the other ear. You're so brave. Good girl. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, clip her parts. Good girl. So again, we lift the leg um, and hold the leg in very comfortable, natural position for a dog. So we bend the elbow and bend the wrist and um, the leg is resting on your hand and then we'll check between the parts now she does have few no, she, she does have a, a knot here and the hair is quite long so i'm going to use the clippers not the scissors i'm using a 30 blade which is 0 0.5 <laughs> millimeter and um, it's important to have a good feel of it because we don't want to dig into the paw. Um, what we want to do with the clippers, we hold the clippers close to the blade and we gently scoop in. Yeah, if you don't know how much pressure to use, try it on your fingers. So you hold the clippers close to the blade and gently scoop in and out. And this is how the dog it feel. He will feel it. Um, so again, gently in and out. So you can feel it doesn't hurt. Uh, you can even try it with the clippers running. So you can feel what the dog is feeling. So the vibration is very gentle. It doesn't hurt. And if you gently with the clippers, it doesn't hurt either. And you can see I don't have any um, irritation on my skin. So if you careful and gentle, it's quite a quick process uh, to do. Okay, so uh, again, I have the soothing antiseptic spray handy, just in case I find any irritation bet um, between her butts. So with the same with the back leg. Uh, we gently lift the leg. I'll just adjust the camera a little bit. Okay. So we lift the leg. So she's resting on my on my arm and open the toes. Make sure you keep the edge of the clippers, edge of the blade parallel with the edge of the foot, <laughs> you ticklish a bit. Yeah, because if you go any further, you will trim and clip the hair around the foot, and we need this hair to create nice rounded foot for later. 
So again, we're holding the clippers close to the blade. Make sure the edge of the clippers is parallel with the edge of the foot and we gently scoop it in and the other side. So that nicely clipped back foot. Let's do the front one. Good girl. So again, lifting the leg comfortably so the dog is comfortable standing on three legs. It's very important and less stressful. Turning the clippers on, holding the blade, uh, clippers close to the blade and gently scooping in and the other side. If there is a knot, like she has here, you need to press the clippers below the knot because otherwise you're not gonna be able to remove it and you start digging in. So again we open the foot. Good girl. That's it. You're so brave. Now she does have a little bit of redness I think because of the knot she had there. So I'm just going to spray the soothing antiseptic spray to prevent the irritation. Good girl. So now I'm going to check between the toes. Um, gently lift the leg, keep it in natural position so it's comfortable for a dog. Then with one finger, press the webbing and push it so it will open the area between the toes. And if there are any knots, use the tip of the scissors to cut it out. If you're using the scissors, you need to <laughs> place the scissors uh, underneath the knot and gently scissor it out. Okay, so we'll start again. Hold the leg in the natural position. Press gently from underneath the toes. And gently cut any knots. Oh, she got one here. Good girl. Shh. Good girl. Also remember, try to leave the hair on the top of the uh, foot. So if there is a hole, the hair will cover it. Shh. Good girl. If the dog is fidgeting like she is now, give her a rest so she can readjust her legs and we'll try again. Good girl. There we are, so a little knot here. So it's important to trim below, yeah? And make sure you hold the scissors flat so you're not digging in. So flat and below the knot. Okay, come on sweetie. A few more to check. Good girl. Then another one. So this one is fine. There are no knots. See the other leg. Good girl. We have a little knot here. So again, use just the tip of the scissors. Middle. It's fine. Fine. Good girl. Good girl. And see. Now we'll check the back leg. Again, hold the leg in the natural position so it's comfortable for a dog. Good girl. Good girl. So she will be resting her leg in my hand. And a bit ticklish, aren't you? So we open the toes and check if there are any knots. We got one knot here. So again, using just the tip of the scissors, carefully scissor out the knot. Good girl. So now I'm going to uh, clip her nails. Her nails are not really long. Most of them, they're not touching the table, especially the um, nails on the back leg. So I'll just really need to tip them. 
Uh, I've got a soothing antiseptic spray ready and a cotton wool just in case I cut the quick too short but I'll be very careful. So again lifting the leg, holding it in natural position so the dog is resting her leg in your hand. Firmly hold the toe between the thumb and finger and just take the tip of the nail. Good girl. If the dog starts fidgeting, let him rest and start again. Good girl. Good girl. And one more. Okay. Good girl. You can always check if you can go any further. I would. I don't think so in her case. Good girl. One more. Let's see. She doesn't have dew claws which is nice, so this will do. As I said, the, the nails on her back leg are really short, so we don't have to do anything there. You are so brave. Now I'm going to clip uh, Sky's sanitary area using a 10 blade, which is 1.5 millimeter. You can also use blade 15. And I'm going to uh, clip her belly to about here, where's the belly button and from behind you can see i'm going to clip here around her vulva and the belly area dogs with sensitive skin may get um, irritation after the sanitary area is clipped, so I would recommend to use soothing antiseptic spray to prevent the irritation. Do you fancy a relaxing oil in your old burner, but something more fresh than lavender? Try Sweet Orange Essential Oil. Sweet Orange has a sweet but fresh citrusy aroma. Orange is a similarly relaxing oil such as lavender, negroli or sandalwood. Uh, orange is an antidepressant and it's also mildly sedative. It is recommended uh, for anxiety, nervousness and insomnia. So when using a ceramic oil burner, put a little bit of water in and then five to six drops of sweet orange oil and enjoy. <laughs>